Hello, this is Brother Cromar. Uh, this is part two of measures of spread for quantitative data. In part one, we discuss, we, uh, discuss standard deviations. In part two, we're going to discuss a five-number summary, and to go along with that is box plots. So the five-number summary contains five numbers. It's the minimum, Q1, Q2, Q3, and the maximum. Now, the min and the maximum should be fairly straightforward, so I won't get into that. But Q1 is 25th percentile, where 25% of the data is lower than Q1 and 75% of the data is higher. Q2 is the median, and that is a measure of center. Okay, these are the and Q3 is um, the 75th percentile, where 75% of the data is lower than Q3 and 25% of the data is higher. Okay, now on the next slide, what I want to do is discuss uh, some. If we're going to do this by hand, a simplistic approach of how to to find the five number summary. First of all, we arrange the data in ascending order. Okay, and so say for instance, I'm going to just come up with a simple basic example here where we have numbers going from one to ten. Okay, now first of all, we know that um, that the min is one. Okay, and the maximum is ten. So the median, since we have an, odd, an even number of observations, the median is the average of these two numbers. And if we were to solve for that, the median would be 5.5. Okay. Now if I were to go back to the PowerPoint slide, uh, Q1, how we calculate Q1 is the median to the data to the left of the grand median. So if we look at the grand median, if you will, that's 5.5. If we look to the data to the left of the grand median, there's five observations. And so what we would do is we'd take the middle number, which is 3, and that would be Q1. So this here would be Q1. And then Q3, going back to the PowerPoint slide here, Q3 is the median to the data to the right of the grand median. Okay, And so here, if we have 5.5 is the grand median, we have five observations to the right of it. Q3, this is, I should write that a little bit better here, Q1. Q3 would be here, at number at the, the number 8. And that's how, if we were to do this by hand, that's how we would get the five number summary. Okay, so now, for SPSS functions as well as, as Excel, okay, Q1 and Q3 are calculated a, different, a little bit differently, so you just need to be cautious about that. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm show you how to do a five-number summary in SPSS. So if I go to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Explore. And we've done this before. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the credit data. But what I'm going to also do is I'm going to click on statistics and get percentiles. The reason why I need to click that is so I can get Q1 and Q3. And if I click on OK, you will see this result here. Okay. Now, if I didn't click on percentile, this is all I would get is this box right here. Now, this box would get us at least the median right here and then the minimum and the maximum. But this does not give us Q1 and Q3. Q1 and Q3 come down here at the 25th and 75th percentile. Notice at the 75th percentile, there's two ways that SPSS calculates um, Q3. And it's OK. It's just two different algorithms. Excel has also a different algorithm in terms of how to calculate percentiles as well, too. But don't get, don't get uh, overwhelmed by that. Just understand that there's different algorithms how to calculate Q1 and Q3 in percentiles. Okay, so then the next thing I like to discuss is box plots. Okay, now box plots, um, how we look at box plots is it's it's it also it's called a box and whisker plot, and basically box plots have a um, there's it represents the five number summary where the lowest point is the minimum, the lowest part of the box, or if you have it sideways, the left part of the box is Q1. The middle, or the line in the middle, or not necessarily the middle, but somewhere in the middle of the box is, is the median, or Q2. The top of the box, or the right of the box, if it's sideways, is Q3. And the, the maximum is, um, is or the, the point at the very top is the maximum. Now, if we have, for instance, a right skewed distribution, well, we'd likely have a whisker that's stretched out more to the right. Okay? If we have a left skewed distribution over here, perhaps here's the median, here's the tail over to the left, that perhaps if the tail is longer over here than it is over here, we would have a left skewed distribution. Here, since they're about the same, we'd have a symmetrical distribution. And so in the final presentation, what we'll do is, is that we will discuss how to do this in SPSS.